Hey guys, Tarko with Second Life PV here, and I am getting ready to do a video on how to upgrade an X10, X10 Express, and the same thing will apply to an X20, or an X12, I mean, or a Tandem even, but we're going to do the X10, X10 Express, how to upgrade it to the Ethos operating system, okay, for the FreeSky Ethos operating system. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to split screen this for you, or picture in picture. A couple things you're going to need ahead of time, so make sure you have an SD card. If you're running like OpenTX, and in this case, I have OpenTX loaded on here just to show you how to go from OpenTX to Ethos. Um, but if you're running OpenTX, uh, I don't know. I mean, either back up what's on your SD card or get another one. Uh, in this case, I'm really going cheap on this. I found a two gig card. So I'm gonna use this as my um, as my example for this radio. Uh, you will need, uh, I will be doing all the SD card stuff from the computer side. So I'm using a USB uh, SD card reader. Okay, so however you wanna get this into the computer, I will not be doing anything with the SD card as far as copying files or transferring them um, by putting the SD card in the radio. Only time it's going to go in here is when we're done and ready to update the firmware. Uh, let's see, the other thing you're going to need is make sure you need OpenTX. You, you will need OpenTX, so make sure you have it. You're only going to need it to transfer one file one time, and that's pretty much it. So just make sure you have access to OpenTX, and I have a, a sheet here to show you that. Uh, you'll need your cable to plug it into the computer. Um, you'll need radio, and that's I think that's pretty much it. So here's what we're going to do first. First thing I'm going to do is show you the... Um, uh, the setup that I put on our website so you can follow along with that. So let me open that up and show you how to get there. Okay, so on our website, if you'll scroll down, and this is going to become a lot more organized in the coming weeks, but for right now, if you'll just bear with me on this one, scroll down to uh, news, tutorials, and videos, and then just click on CFPV video uh, tutorials, and it's the first one. I just got done updating it yesterday and then again today. So if you click this here, it tells you what you need. Now, I've given you links here that you can use as reference. Um, don't click these right now, but if uh, I'm, I may show you where they go to, but this will take you to the FreeSky website for the download for X10 Express, the Ethos website, the GitHub uh, release page website, the file storage information website on there, the link, uh, and then um, the manual, and then this is for OpenTX. However, I have already um, uh, put these files, direct links to these files that are the most recent version, which is version one point. Uh, 0.12 okay that's the most recent and now I will click here just to show you I'm gonna right click and open this in a separate window no actually I think it automatically opens in a separate window yeah um, if you look on the X10 Express page and you click on ethos you're gonna see that uh, as of I mean they, they have not put the newest version 1.0.12 on here um, and they've also given you a card contents which you'll need but we're not gonna get it from here because this is outdated by one version all right something else that I want you to keep in mind is that on my radio for example uh, so on this one here this radio is an actual X10 not X10 Express which means it did not have the ISRM module to run access right you have to have that so that you can run ethos However, if you do the upgrade like I did on here, and I have a video on how to do that, and you get the module, and you change it, and you upgrade the ISRM, then this is able to go to Ethos as well. So what you'll notice, though, is that when, when we go over this, there are uh, multiple firmwares. There's a firmware for X10 Express. There's a firmware for X10 that has the ISRM added, like I have. There's a firmware for the X12. There's a firmware for the Tandem series. I'm going to show you that page right now real quickly. So on this next link right here, and let me get back to that. You're going to see right here where I've given you a link to the Ethos website. Now, if you go on the if you go on the Free Sky page, it's this link right here. But I've already put this here, so you just don't have to worry about it. Here's the Ethos website. Okay. One thing to note is that every single link here takes you to the same page. All of these go to the same identical page, which is this page. And I will show you that I gave you that link right here, the Ethos GitHub recent release page, which you're going to see is right here. Uh, this is your recent releases, and the newest release is 1.012. So. All of them take you to the same thing because on this page you have all the files that you need. Now, let me just point something out to you. You have your Horus SD card contents. That's one of the ones, and that's one of the ones that we're going to download. If you that that's for the SD card part. As far as the firmware, you can read right here. If you have an X10 that had the ISRM update, you'll need this firmware. The X10 with if you have an X10 Express, you'll need this firmware. And let's just keep going. I mean, it just goes and it's very self-explanatory up here. If you do the X12 with the ISRM, then you'll get this one X12 Europe, X12 FCC, X12 Running Flex, and so forth, okay? So, what we're fun what we're doing today though is we're doing the X10 and it'll be identical for the X10 Express, except for the firmware link that you download. So, and I'll show you exactly what that means. Let's head back to our website. And I'm just showing you these so you can understand there are links here because as of today, this is the newest update, right? If there's another one down the road, I'm not going to keep updating this page 1.0.13 uh, and so forth. So check it, check back, uh, but I'm giving you the links here so you can do that. 
All right, another page that I've got a link on here so that you don't have to go fishing for it is the file storage page. This gives you instructions on if you're running the X20 and also what to do if you're running the uh, X20 and X10 uh, series, uh, what to do with the firmware update. The X20 does have a different way to store the uh, uh, files on the SD card and locally. Um, so anyways, this is the important part right here, okay? Uh, let me make sure we've got everything here. Da, 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 da. Yeah, and that's all good. So that's that helps you here, and it, this is the instructions. The last page, and again, you don't need to come to this right now because I've already set, I'm doing all of this in the video to show you how to do it. The next one is, the next link is to the manual. If you click, I'm not gonna do it right now. If you click this one, you're gonna download the PDF manual. And then here's to the OpenTX website. And if you click this one, you're gonna go to OpenTX. Make sure to download OpenTX Companion if you don't have it already, all right? Now, let's get to it. Here's my instructions. They're very specific and to the point. So let's get started. The first thing it says to do is to take your SD card and format it. So, but do not put it in the radio once it's done. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the SD card. I'm gonna put it in my reader right here. Oops, not that one. I'm gonna take the two gig card. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna pop it in my computer. You're gonna see it come up. Now it's got the files on it because I've done this run one through already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and then you're gonna format it. So I'm gonna right click. So here's my SD card right here. I'm gonna right click on it, left click on format, and then leave it at FAT32. Make your volume label. I made mine FreeSky X10S, or X10 I mean. Select quick format and click start. It's gonna go very quickly. It doesn't take long to do, okay? All right, once that's done, click OK and click Close, okay? The next thing is you need to download the software. Now, this is the SD card contents that I've already downloaded if you're running the Horus radio, okay? So you can click on this, and I've done this, so we're going to have duplicates, but click on it, and it's going to automatically download this Horus underscore SD zip file, okay? While that's downloading, you can see the next thing you need to do is download the bootloader.bin. This has been the hardest file to find for people, and it really is bad. FreeSky did not do a good job of this. This is only located at the first page of the uh, download. So let me just show you. See how we're on this releases page here? You have to go all the way to page number four, and then you have to go to the first release and, and click on the assets link right here, uh, which will be right here. And don't worry about this, but if you click on this, these updates, these firmware actually co contain that file. For some reason, none of the other ones contain the bootloader.bin file, only these, but I've already found that for you. So if you're running the X10S or X10, that's what we're doing here. Uh, so you'll click this next, all right? Now that's gonna download the uh, X10 information. If you need the X20, uh, I'll put a link on this page for it and I'll save that for you, but the X20, um, would be would be here so you can just go and follow my page to get here all right that's downloaded and then there's one more to download which is going to be the newest firmware uh from that release page since i'm working with an x10 with isrm i'm going to click here if you're working with an x10 express just click here both files are called firmware.bin so just follow along i'm going to do this one but if you're using the x10 express just follow the exact same steps okay so let me click this one for the isrm now i've got my three zipped files downloaded here right so let's go to our downloads folder, okay? Now I have created a folder and I would recommend you do this. I made a folder um, on my desktop called transmitters and in that I made one called ethos x10, all right? So if I'm gonna start over again, which I guess we will do. No, actually I'm not going to, just make a folder and what you wanna do is you wanna take your downloads, these three files, these three zip files, okay? Which is what I just downloaded and put them in your folder and if you do that, you should end up with it like an ethos x10 folder and in here are the zip files okay now i there's there's the one there's the two and there's the three right here okay these are the ones that i just downloaded i'm going to delete this one because i already worked on this let me get rid of that all right once you have your files the three zip files downloaded go ahead and start extracting them to do that let's start with the sd card contents it's a pretty big file right here because it's got a bunch of languages in it right so right click on it left click on extract all and it's gonna put it in, uh, we're just gonna put it in our, um, let me make this, it's just gonna go in our default folder here. So uh, let me see, it should be just like that and just click extract. Okay, and that should put that folder right about here, I believe. Oh, right here, sorry, yeah. So these are my zip card content, so let me, let me, Tell you what, let me let me stop this real quickly because I forgot that we had already done this. So what I'm going to do, let me go back. Sorry guys, 
me go back. Here's our Ethos X10. Okay, so let me let me take all of these. I want to delete these so that you guys, I start from scratch with y'all. So let me delete these real quickly. Okay, now I made an additional folder and I didn't mention that. So I keep all my zip files in a zip folder, right? So here's my Ethos X10 folder and in here is my zip folder. And it just helps to differentiate zip files which are downloaded from the extracted files. So in my zip file is where I put uh, all my three downloads, okay? Now we're gonna start and I'll show you what we're doing. So we're gonna right click on the first one, left click on extract all, and by default it wants to put it in the folder that you're in. Um, I'm gonna delete that the word zip because I want it to go, I don't want it in the zip folder because it's already extract. Once it's extracted, it's not zipped anymore. So I'm gonna click extract, all right? And what you're gonna see now is if I go up one level, it's starting to extract into this folder here, all right? Now while that's going on, let's do the second one. Uh, we're going to use the X10 zip, and that's the file. That's the folder that had that uh, uh, bootloader.bin file in it. So we're going to right-click on this one, left-click on Extract All, and again we're going to delete the word zip here. Okay. So it goes just like that. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to click Extract, and that is also going to go. Now that's going to go quickly. So you're going to see that folder pop up. Okay. So let me close that, let me close this, all right. And then we have the last one, which is, now this is the firmware one. And I said, I have an ISRM on mine, so I'm doing the ISRM. If you did the X10 Express, for example, then yours will be the X10 Express one. You're still gonna right click on it, left click on extract all. I'm gonna delete the zip word here, and that last backslash, there we go, and click extract, okay? And there we go. So now we can close that. And I believe we're still extracting the SD card. Yeah, it's still right here, okay? It's taking a while because it's a very big folder. And we're gonna make it smaller when we get there. Okay, so now let's go back to our main ethos, like in my case, the main ethos folder here. So look, this one is still extracting, but this one's done and this one's done, all right? So now you need to organize these. First thing I want you to do is I want you to go to that X10 folder, or the one that has the bootloader.bin. Double click it, and there's gonna be another folder in there, right? Double click that folder. Now, I want you to make sure that you disregard this firmware.bin file that's here. This is an old one from that 1.0.01 1 .01, or 1.0.1. 1 .01. This is the first one, first release. We don't want that. So when you go, sorry, I guess my folder just opened. So when you go in to this X10 folder, for example, click on the firmware dot bin file, put a check mark and just click delete. This way, once it's in the trash bin, you know you can't make a mistake, okay? The next thing I want you to do is I want you to right click on your bootloader.bin, left click on cut, go back to your main ethos folder up here, right click anywhere on the screen here that's white and left click on paste. There's your bootloader.bin and now your X10 folder is empty, you can just delete that folder, okay? Now your, your SD card contents are done. So the next thing I want you to do, now here's where we're gonna prepare your SD card as well, okay? And you're gonna see this right here, this is part of the instructions, okay? We're gonna tell you how to extract these and then we wanna copy these over, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our folder here. This is your SD card contents, so right here, double click it. You're gonna see two files in here. Make sure to put a check beside both of them. Then I want you to click cut. I want you to go, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, you can click cut. And then I want you to go to your main ethos folder right here. Right click on the screen anywhere that's white, left click on paste. And basically you wanna move them to the top so we don't have any subfolders, okay? Now you can delete the Horus underscore SD, just delete that. The last one is gonna be your actual firmware. Again, if you're using X10 Express or X10 with the ISRM, I'm gonna double click, double click again, get to my firmware.bin, right click on it, left click on cut, go back to my main folder, right click anywhere on the white part of the screen and left click on paste. So now what I have is I have my audio and, and my bitmaps, which are both part of SD card. I have my firmware, which goes on my SD card and I can now delete my uh, ISRM firmware because I already pulled that firmware file out. So let's click delete. Okay, the next thing that's really important to do is now you have to take the SD card, the files that go on your SD card and you have to copy them over. But before we do that, let's get rid of this audio. Let's get rid of all the files that are in here we don't need. 
These are all the languages and there's a ton of them. So let's just click this X, this check mark right there. Then find English. That's what we're gonna do this one for. Remove the check there. So everything else is highlighted in blue except English and then click delete. Okay, it's 2,000, a little over 2,000 files that were being removed. And that makes it a much smaller uh, file, okay? Uh, let's see, next thing after that, what you're gonna do is go back to your main folder and now we need to copy the these specific files to our SD card. So put a check mark beside audio, check mark beside bitmaps, and a check mark beside firmware. And when you do that, I want you to come over and click copy. Then I want you to go click on your SD card here. And then I want you to come over here and click paste. And those files, all those files are gonna be moved over, okay? Now, once this process is done, and I mentioned this on the website as well, once this is done, all right, we've copied everything uh, over, all right, uh, to the root directory, remove the SD card, but do not put it in your radio. This is very important, okay? Do not put this in your radio. And I make a mention here, guys, if you're actually doing a new, uh, not a new load, but you're just upgrading the firmware, there's a few things you need to do. Make a backup of your models folder. Basically, put your SD card in your computer from your radio that's running Ethos now and copy the models over because you need to remove that folder, all right? And you also need to remove the radio.bin file from that SD card. You can leave the other files there. And if you're doing the, if you're copying the audio and the, um, if you're copying the uh, files here, the uh, audio and the bitmaps, when you copy those over to an existing card that you've been running Ethos on, just tell it to overwrite, okay? But do make sure, now for everybody else doing it like me, where it's new, it's a new load, we haven't run Ethos on here, just keep following along. Make sure to copy those files over and then remove the card, but do not put it in the computer. So let's go back now and see how our copying is going. All right, our copying is done. These are the important area, these are the important files that we need. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on our SD card over here, left click on eject, and that's it. Now we can pull the card out and just keep it on you, but don't, don't keep the SD card right here, but do not put it in the radio yet, all right? All right, now let's get back to what we were doing. So the next thing we wanna do, and you can see it on the website here, the next thing, make sure your radio's off, okay? And you're gonna use OpenTX for this, right? So if you, if you have OpenTX on here, you're gonna be using the OpenTX to load the bootloader. So let me show you what we're gonna do. Okay, so with your radio off, uh, you don't don't power it on don't hit your sliders don't do anything just take your USB cable and plug it into the back and you should hear it initialize on your computer so listen here goes that's what we want okay and then what we're gonna do is going back to the computer here we're gonna go ahead and open our OpenTX program and remember you can read it right here it says turn radio off and plug it into Windows radio power off do not have it on do not have it in that uh, bootloader mode nothing like that okay once you open open tx do not worry about what profile you select don't worry about any part of that all we want to do is utilize this little button right here that says write firmware to radio so click that and then you want to click the load button and you want to search now here mine's on desktop i put it in my under transmitters and then ethos x10 and there's the bootloader.bin it's the only file you want to touch right now you want to double click it you may get a hardware compatible, may not be valid firmware file. Don't worry about that, that's expected. Click OK. Leave check hardware compatibility loaded and click write to TX. It's gonna be a pretty quick file to write. Once it says flashing is done, go ahead and click OK. Then you can right click on your safe eject right here and just click the eject STM32 bootloader. And there you go, remove your, uh, let me show you from this angle now, just remove the USB cable and lay your radio flat. Okay, make sure all your switches are away, pushed up. And now is the part where you have to pay very close attention and it says it on our page here. So I'll show you again some of the instruction. Uh, if you look right here on our page. Okay, so like, okay, we did that. When it's finished, remove from the uh, remove the USB cable and keep the radio off. Now, take your SD card. So let's get back to our radio. Take your SD card and insert it into the radio. Okay, just like this. And this sucker is sometimes a pain for me. It goes flying. Make sure it's in there. Make sure it clicks in. Make sure you're good to go. The next step, 
hold the enter button down, which is this gold round button in the center for me, or this bronze, whatever color it is. Press that and keep it pressed while you press the power button. Now, when I do that, I'm gonna see a very quick word say bootloader right on there. And right after that, it's gonna say updating my firmware. So pay close attention, it's gonna go quick. Hold this, press that, let go. As Soon as I let go, boom, writing firmware on flash. So right now it's taking that firmware.bin file that was on our SD card that we put there and it's actually writing the firmware to the internal flash right now, okay? Once it writes it, it removes it from your SD card so you don't have to worry about doing that again. Okay, so it's almost done. When it's done, it will say bootloader across your screen again. Just like that. Just press the button one time, power button one time, it's off. You don't have to hold it long, hold it or anything. Now you're done. Now what we're gonna see, you will have a couple little errors we're gonna go over, but outside of that, this thing is ready to go. Uh, you should be ready to go. So here's what we're gonna do. Long press the power button. Okay. I'm gonna press that off. Let me eject my SD card. Sometimes my SD card, because I used a cheap one, sometimes doesn't read very well. So don't, don't, don't use a cheap one. I just use, I grab whichever one I can find. Long press this again. Uh, why is it finding mine? Let me see. All right, let me check the contents of my SD just to make sure mine are okay. Did I grab the wrong SD card? I don't think I did. I'll try it again. The files, the contents are on here. I'm not sure what's going on with my card. I may have had, I may have a bad card. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Okay, so my, like I said, my card is finicky. Use a good card like the SanDisks. Okay, I just used the cheap one that I found. Uh, I think it came with my 3D printer, and obviously now I'm hitting it. All right, once this loads up, uh, you can see the first option here is going to be to select your language. Let me take this off. That's so cool. Uh, just make sure that you understand. Oh, yeah, this is not touching you, but just make sure you understand that right after this screen, you're probably going to get an error. So I'm going to hit OK. And then you're gonna get this storage error, that's okay, okay? So it's gonna restore do everything on your card like it's supposed to and write the necessary files that needs to have on the uh, root folder of the SD card, okay? Now it says starting calibration. So I'm gonna go ahead, because I know what it's gonna ask me to do, it's gonna ask me to center all my sticks and dials. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that ahead of time. So just do that, because you know you're gonna to have to, right? And then it says, just hit enter to click okay. The sticks are not calibrated. Right, okay, now it's saying calibrate. Hit OK. Now it's going to tell you center all the sticks. OK. Now, it's got the arrows on this screen, so just go to those points. Don't do it too hard because you have to mimic what you'd be like if you're flying. You're not going to be cranking on this thing when you're flying. OK. All right. This dial here. Then my left stick. And then my dial here. Once I'm done, hit Enter to click Next. It says calibration is complete. Click Confirm. All right, now the second error that we get is the uh, starting model wizard. There's an error opening a file because there is no file yet. It's a brand new SD card, okay. And here's where you can start setting up your model for the first time. So I'm gonna click multi, right? And I'm gonna hit return. Uh, and I think actually, I don't hit enter, I hit return. Uh, and then maybe I hit page. Yeah, I hit the center button, the page button. So it's got all my information right here. Uh, and I'm just going to, it's telling me right now that my model is set up for channel one, two, three, and four. So throttle and so forth. I'm just going to go with that for right now. Hit page again, and I'm going to name this. So I'll just call it, uh, you call it whatever you want, but we're just going to go through the process here. And there's a ton of characters. So C, uh, F, I'll just call it CFPV. Okay. And then I'll put drone. I don't know. Very unique. R O, and it's cool because the next part is if you have, I believe it's a JPEG or a PNG, you can actually load a picture of your quad. I did not take one, but I will do another video on this later where we can do that. Uh, there we go, okay, and then we're gonna hit return, and we will hit return again, and now we're out. Now, here's the thing. So it says new model here, right? But I've noticed, and I don't know if it's something that I did when I was doing the setup here. I've noticed that it's got the airplane and not the quad picture, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit system, uh, no, I'll hit return, actually. Let me go to model. There we go, model. And I'm going to go to my edit model. So I hit the model tab and hit edit model. And I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to select multi. And it's going to tell me it's going to redo my mixer. So it's like, yes. 
Uh, and then again, I would have to name it. I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna put CFPB this time. Um, okay, let's just do CFPV. All right, and then hit return, hit return, hit return. There's my information right there, all right? And that pretty much does it for me. Now I can power down my radio. I'm gonna see if I get this error I had before. I may not get it though. Let me power it back up now. Welcome to EOS. Perfect, it says my Total, There we idle. go. So everything is now set up. My audio is set up. I can put my pictures in here. My model is set up. And then I can do everything like normal. I can edit my model, do everything I want to do. But now, guys, that's your update to Ethos. That's exactly how you get there. So if you follow those instructions, I know I had a few hiccups here and there because my SD card is a cheap one. Don't use a cheap one, please. Um, and, uh, and that's it. You're good to go. So now Ethos is ready. And if you are going to upgrade to another Ethos version, let's say right now is 1.0.12. Let's say you go to 0.13. Uh, you don't have to do the bootloader or anything else anymore. That's already on here. All you have to do now is just get that firmware file from the version you want, put it on your SD card, and flash it on over by inserting the SD card and doing the enter button and the power button. And then when it goes into bootloader, it'll load that flash for you. Uh, it'll flash that for you, and then you'll be done. All right. If you have any questions, guys, hit me up. Uh, I, this has been a, one a long time coming here. I, I was supposed to get it done earlier, and I was getting all mixed up with my versions. So uh, finally got it done. If you have any questions, please, as always, let me know. Uh, and also, please subscribe to our channel and let me know if you need anything else. Uh, I'd be more than happy to help and make some videos for you. All right, guys, God bless. Be safe and most full. Go spend time with your family, guys. You never know how much time you have left. Go make the most of it. I will see my boys in two days, and my wife is sitting behind me. What's up, Sam? What's up? That's all I get. All right, guys, God bless. See you later. Peace.